All right, so here we have my Necro. Been having a lot of fun with it. It's, uh, it's not quite finished yet. I'm nowhere really close to finished yet. It still has pretty basic gear on it. Just thought I'd give a little showcase of how she runs because it's been a lot of fun so far and thought I'd uh, share. Uh, we will do a couple monoliths, show how the clear is. Then we will um, go into one of these boss fights, show how well it kills the boss. Like I said, it's nowhere near being done, but it's been a lot of fun so far, so wanted to share. Never made a build guide before, but thought it's, uh, why not? It's a perfect opportunity. I haven't seen anybody really playing. Oh my god, this guy's tanky. I haven't uh, really seen anybody playing Infernal Shade. I thought uh, I'd give it a try. I enjoy making a little bit of a uh, hipster build. I've made one other build in Last Epoch. I just started playing. And I haven't made a build guide for that one, but it's also a build that I haven't seen anybody play. I pushed that one to 200 and some corruption before I got bored. Moved on a bit. Probably we'll go back to that one. No, have a few items I can put on it, and make it a little stronger, keep going. But for now, the Necro is my main focus. I think this build could be absolutely insane with the mechanics it has right now. It's, uh, it's pretty tanky. Definitely I'm not trying to stay alive right now. Just kind of running headfirst into everything. The idea of this build is you cast Infernal Shade, you use Sacrifice to Amplify Infernal Shade. You use Dredge, Fade, Dredge Shade to Amplify Infernal Shade, and then you kind of just cycle through them. Use Dredge Shade to keep Infernal Shade up, and you Sacrifice to increase Infernal Shade's damage, but also lower the duration. But you trade off that by using Dredge Shade quickly. For low mana cost and pretty much deal infinite damage. I uh, learned just recently that this node in here, here, this stacks, so I'm pretty sure this will not happen in the future. Well, it's way too powerful. 250% more damage every time I cast Sacrifice is a little busted. It's Build plays very well when I just thought it casted once, but then yeah, I learned that it casted many times. So you can kind of just stack that up. So uh, we'll go into this boss, show you how it kills bosses. I, with the proper setup, you can do so much damage, but if. You don't get the proper setup, you'll still do good damage, but you can definitely do a lot of things to little things before you cast your Infernal Shade to get big damage. So you're kind of shotgunning it, I suppose. When you're stacking buffs, casting one big damage Infernal Shade, and then you're stacking your Sacrifice More Multiplier on that big damage Infernal Shade. So here, you make a bunch of race. Let the boss spawn teleport. Sacrifice. I forgot to cast Infernal Shade, so we'll do that. And now I just sacrifice and Wraith. Sacrifice. And. Infer oh, I'm getting hit. But yeah, you just keep uh, repeating this. If Ah, see, I ran out of mana, and this is one of the problems of the build. So you get a good showcase of what not to do. I let my Infernal Shade drop, and the damage dropped big time. So I'll just let my mana go up. No rush. We'll do good damage here. And you can watch the boss just sort of melt now. Don't even need to be in range. I'm not sa stacking the damage right now. I'm just letting the damage play out. I could be casting race in between and adding damage to that. But I don't have the mana recovery yet. I don't have a few things, so 
Once that happens, Ooh, nice. Once that happens, I will be able to stack that damage a lot easier and avoid everything. Doing so. But there you have it. You've seen some of the downfalls right now, some of the things I'm trying to work towards, how the game or the character plays, and uh, yeah, it's a lot of fun.